I think homecoming is just a big fat wildcat love. It's kind of like a Christmas day, you know, something you look forward to. A lot of spirit and, you know, everybody's excited. It's sort of a reunion time. They ever want to come in and kind of see one another and reminisce. UK is a special place for them to want to come back to celebrate. This year is a special homecoming because it's the 100th anniversary. So the first year that we officially celebrated homecoming was 1915. So we are at our 100th anniversary of celebrating it on campus. You know, there was a tradition, I think, around the Thanksgiving holiday game of people coming back into town and therefore to the university. And so it was a way to formalize that, to really welcome the alums back. We played the Tennessee Volunteers, and we beat six to zero. Each class was so much smaller, and so you could really get together as a big group. You know, there wasn't a homecoming queen. There wasn't a parade in those early years. It was just celebrating the alumni and bringing them back together with the spirit of coming home. All the organizations on campus, it seems like, held receptions and so on. Most of the fraternities and sororities did decorations in front of their house, and uh, so to a little kid, that was all pretty special. These are some of those homecoming decorations. I think this was against the Georgia Bulldogs, and so pound the Bulldogs, like they're, they're gonna take them to the pound. It might seem odd to you to know that the parade was the biggest thing in the world when I was younger, and it rivaled the Rose Bowl. And with the homecoming queen, I couldn't find any evidence that it started until around the 19th 1950s or so. I remember going to Stallfield and seeing the, the homecoming court. I think over time as the alumni body grew um, and the celebrations became bigger, so did the, you know, the entire homecoming tradition. And my most uh, vivid memory of homecoming as a student is that we all dressed up. We put on coats and ties and went to the football game in our, in our best. The guys would get us flowers. White one with blue ribbons and a blue UK in the center of it. We would all get our girlfriends together and head out and have a decent meal that night someplace. Probably Jerry's Restaurant was <laughs> the big one back in those days. I guess the biggest memory was is that, uh, I think it was in 1970, you know, being on the, on the football team, we didn't really have a lot of opportunities to participate, but I was involved in the Black Student Union, and we got excited because that year, there was the first African-American homecoming attendant who was on the homecoming court. That time really stands out. That was a kind of historic moment. My favorite part of homecoming is royalty and not in the traditional sense of the king and queen and everything like that, but it's the opportunity to recognize a lot of our great student leaders. They're all leaders and they're all really, really uh, sharp kids. I remember walking out on that field and seeing all the people and it just made me feel very blessed and honored um, to be able to represent our university out there. Neat moment for sure and something I'll never forget. I'm always honored that I had the chance to represent the student body in that way. I was homecoming king in high school so it's kind of something I went through before. Uh, so at first it was kind of like oh wow okay never never thought it, you know, it can happen being a football player and to be the first African American well, was huge. It, it was something that we needed not only for, uh, I think, for the university, but also for our team to put icing on the cake. So we got homecoming king and also our first SEC win that weekend. It was, uh, it was a great day. Homecoming has transcended time. It is something that's happened every year and it's maybe looked a little bit different, but it's one word that everyone can connect you in one form or another. That you're sharing something you can all hold in common. It's a time where you can really bridge the past with the present and then look into the future. Whether you're a student, whether you're an alum, if you're this year a parent and you're coming back for family weekend, it's really a neat opportunity to draw people back from all generations. I think it's cool looking back at the Golden Wildcats and, and all of the people who uh, have come before at the university. I think that's a neat, a neat opportunity. It makes me feel proud because I realize that there are people that came before me and came before my students 
um, that had an opportunity to enjoy UK as much as I did and love it as much as I did. I feel honoring those traditions in the past just makes it for a better like today and for a better future. I think it's good for the the old ones like me to look back and, and see the energy here and I think it's great for the young ones to look forward and say I can be that and then I get to be young again because I watch the kids enjoy their campus. And this UK for them now you know they, they're building their own traditions. My favorite part of homecoming is to see all of the students come together. It's not the same UK that it used to be it's a better UK it's a more uh, productive UK. It's a place for everybody. And now over 30,000 you know, students and the most proficient students that have ever been admitted in. It just keeps going up and up and up and getting better and better with all the new residence halls and eateries and everything. As the campus changes, the old ones need to see how happy the students are here. It's pivotal for us to, to move forward. There, there's a lot of, lot of change, a lot of infrastructure going on, uh, but you always have to have a sense of where you came from and uh, homecoming always does that. I think, you know, UK just has impacted so many lives. I feel just like I had the best opportunity in the world because I had the best professors. I had the best organizations, you know, from the president on down. Everybody at UK was wonderful to me. It's a lot of pride. It's a lot of pride uh, for me to be a, a, an alum of University of Kentucky. I'm a part of something that's totally bigger than me. I'm very excited, 100th year. Like, I'm honored to be a part of the 100 years, so I'm excited to see what campus is going to feel like and to see how many people come back and to see um, our students now excited for homecoming. From generations before, and I think it'll be generations after. It's uh, something unique that we have. <laughs>